All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Arizona Diamondbacks at Cincinnati Reds recap. And Josh Rojas was the offense for the Arizona Diamondbacks. He hit a three-run blast, and then he hit a two-run blast. And the Arizona Diamondbacks defeat the Cincinnati Reds for their third straight win in a row, three nights in a row. So they lost three in a row, then they win three in a row. They beat the Cincinnati Reds five to three, and the Arizona Diamondbacks are at 500 in spring training. Josh Rojas should make this this team without a doubt. I think Josh Rojas deserves a spot on this team this year. Oh, uh, he's had he's having one hell of a spring. Just like John Duplantier, um, Dalton Varsho, I think, should be uh, at least a backup catcher. Uh, if not, you know, like DH or pinch hitter or something like that. But th this team has won three in a row now. They're three and three in spring training. And it was a good game. Um... The Reds got some hits, some offense going, but it wasn't enough to stop the Diamondbacks' bats as they got heated up, you know, as you know, against the Cleveland Indians and continued against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and now against the Cincinnati Reds. And today, they play the Texas Rangers. And that, my friends should be a good game now uh like i said in previous videos i think they need to make maybe one or two trades or maybe sign a free agent make a trade or something i think they need one more good bullpen arm uh someone that can go you know a lot of innings in case they get brought in in like the second or third inning somebody who can go three four maybe five innings uh and I think they need one big power hitter, one big bat. So, um, I don't know. You know, um, I don't know how much money they have. Um, but I do know that uh, they need to get a hitter in here. One more hitter. Um, the bats are starting to wake up. Um you know, and they're missing some key pieces from last year's team, like Jake Lamb. Uh, I think he's with the Atlanta Braves now. Um, they're missing, you know, quite a few. Robbie Ray, who you know was traded to the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, you know, Archie Bradley is no longer the closer. We got um, Josh Van Meter and Stuart Fairchild in that trade for... Uh, Archie Bradley, and I do think one of these guys is going to make the team. If it's not Fairchild, it'll be Van Meter. If it's not Van Meter, it'll be Fairchild. Um, and one of them is going to be in the minors. Uh, because they just, you know, don't have room for all these guys. Uh, they have, like, too many catchers. They have Dalton Verschel, Carson Kelly, um, Stephen Vogt, you know, one of them, I think, uh, has to go. I think they keep uh, either Vogt and Varsho or Kelly and Varsho. Although I don't see him getting rid of Carson Kelly because he was part of that deal uh, that sent Paul Goldschmidt to the St. Louis Cardinals. So um, I, I do think that they need one or two more trades. They need a bullpen arm, and they need a bat. But guys, stay tuned for my uh, Texas Rangers Arizona Diamondbacks preview. Uh, Seth Mall was the winning pitcher yesterday. Seth Mall got credited with the win for the Arizona Diamondbacks. So, comment in the comment section down below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe. And hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. This is Sports Dom. Peace! And go Diamondbacks.
Let's beat them fucking Texas Rangers and get four straight wins. Let's go! Baseball is here!